What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to do a best class setup for the AK-7 for you. I'm going to give you two different setups here. One that I use about 90% of the time, which is this setup here. The first one we're going to look at. The second one is something that I've been working on. I'm not sure if I'm completely sold on it, but it almost kind of feels like a, a AR at times. But at the same time, I still do get beat by ARs at distance. But it's still not a bad setup if you're looking for something with the gunfighter class setup. Uh, the first thing we're going to look at, like I said, is the class that I've been running, like I said, 90% of the time when I use the 7.4U. My same perks as always, perk greed, stem shot, Simtex, fill mic, pistol here. You can use whatever you would like. And as always, if you're going to use these perk setups, if you're playing team deathmatch, I would recommend dropping tack mask for forward intel. Now, when it comes to the attachments kind of itself, I go with the sound suppressor, even though I know I always say I'm not a fan of sound suppressors in Treyarch games. But if I'm playing by myself, which I do a lot, I do have some friends that play, but not all the time when I'm on. So if I'm playing by myself, I use the sound suppressor that way. You know, the other team's not chasing my, you know, red dot every time I fire my weapon. I can get in behind enemy lines. You know, if I'm not talking to anyone else in game, if I'm just by myself, just kind of lone wolf playing, the suppressor works very well. You could always go with the groove suppressor. I do use this some on smaller maps like uh, Nuketown or something like Crossroads Team, Dom, uh, Hardpoint. Those maps are not that large, so that effective damage range uh, is not affected that much, in my opinion. Plus, you do get a bit of vertical recoil control. So you can go with either one of these. If you're playing on larger maps, I would recommend just the sound suppressor, though. Uh, when it comes to the barrel, the VDV reinforced. Now, this is going to give you an 18% effective damage range and a bullet velocity bonus. You could always go with the Liberator barrel uh, if you want to go just straight bullet velocity. Subs do have a bad bullet, uh, bullet velocity in-game. So these two are very good options. If you want something without cons, the extended barrel is really nice. Because yes, I know both of these have sprint movement speed and aim walking movement speed cons, which do kind of affect you. I, I'm not a big fan of the aim walking movement speed cons with a sub. I like to be able to move quickly. But at the same time, this game's a bit odd. I, I don't find myself um, strafing as much as I have in the past. Um, I, I don't know why. I don't know if it's just because most everything I use has the aim walking movement speed cons on them. I also don't find myself at hip firing as much as I have in games in the past. So I feel like I'm more of a uh, uh, get to where I'm going and pre-aim and then move and pre-aim, move and pre-aim. So I don't feel like these things affect me as much, some of these cons, as they would in past Call of Duty games. Another thing that I have been seeing a lot of people use lately, especially pro players, is this task force barrel. I'm not a big fan of it at all, uh, even though it does give you a little bit more damage, which is only going to be to the head. Um, it's going to be extra headshot damage, so it's not really that great in my opinion. That effective damage range and bullet velocity are nice, but the cons of max starting ammo, vertical recoil, and horizontal recoil control are not really my thing. And pro players have 100 times better aim than I do anyway, so I understand why they like this. But personally, it's not for me you may want to try it out but i just don't really like it at all i've tried it in several games and i feel like i do a lot better with the liberator or the vdv reinforced when it comes to the under barrel the spesnaz grip is really nice the only problem with this grip is that 30 percent shooting movement speed con so this is where i've been swapping it up a bit i was going with just the regular four grip but i wanted a little bit of vertical recoil control uh, with this because i feel like this gun does have predictable vertical recoil it does move side to side, so if you can get some horizontal and vertical together, it works really nice. So that is one reason I like this Pezzanaz grip, but I have been playing a good bit as of late with the speed grip, which does give you sprinting move speed plus horizontal recoil control. Once again, we still don't have that vertical recoil control here, but that sprint movement speed really is feels really, really nice with this gun. It feels like you can keep a pretty steady pace with this weapon. And the cons, of course, are movement speed, shooting movement speed, and aim walking movement speed, but only at 6% each. So it's not that bad. If you have not tried the speed grip out, I would highly recommend it. Uh, when it comes to the magazine, this is kind of where I'm leaving this up to you. You can either run a 40 round mag or tape mags. These are the best in my opinion. The rest will hurt your ADS time. And this gun does have a slow ADS to be a sub, so I would pref prefer personally for me to run either one of these not something that's going to hurt my ads or you can go with a stock here the wire stock if you want sprint to fire with no cons the no stock if you want sprint to fire with a little bit of hip fire cons or the one that i've been using mainly is the skeletal stock which has sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed pros but hip fire con accuracy of course is not the hip fire is going to be pretty garbage uh, let's just be honest this is what i've been using a lot 
But like I said, I'm not really finding myself hip firing as much as I have in past Call of Duty games. So this is a setup that I go with. But every once in a while, I will drop this and go with a magazine. If it's something where I'm just getting in to the enemy base time and time again and find myself you know, having to reload too often, I will drop that stock and go with this 40 round drum mag. The next class setup, like I said, this is something I've been testing. I, it feels almost like an AR at times, but it also at times I feel like I get beat with ARs. But I'm running Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja. That way I can still move around the map with a sub and not be heard. So to make up for that, I'm having to run a launcher. That way if a, a spy plane gets called out, I can take these spy planes down easily. Same thing for Tactical, Lethal, and a Field Upgrade as always. The other Field Upgrade that I really like using here is a Jammer. Or, of course, a trophy system if you're really playing hard on an objective. But the field mic and the jammer are my two personal favorites. When it comes to this setup, I'm going to go with an optic here. Just because, like I said, I'm trying to make this more like an AR. So I'm going with the Microflex LED. The muzzle brake is what I prefer to use. Just a little bit of vertical recoil. You could go with the Spesnaz compensator. The only problem with this is the con is horizontal recoil control. So I'm not a big fan of that. The next best, best choice, in my opinion, besides the muzzle brake, is probably the KGB eliminator. Uh, which is going to give you that 17% vertical recoil control with the con of some horizontal and some uh, shooting move speed. But it's a pretty decent uh, overall if you're not going to use the muzzle brake. Uh, when it comes to the barrel, same barrel as before, BDV reinforced. You could go with the Liberator barrel if you would like to have some more damage or bullet velocity so you can, so you can see those bullets hit your target a little bit quicker. Uh, this feels more like an AR in my opinion, but I prefer to go with this effective damage range and bullet velocity on the VDV reinforced. When it comes to the body, I've been bouncing around with this. I've used this uh, 5 milliwatt laser here that gives you that 36% hip fire accuracy with that aim down sight time. But some of my other uh, attachments are hurting my hip fire accuracy still. So I've been kind of bouncing around with it, the target designator, and the mounted flashlight. Any of these three are decent in my opinion you could always go with the tiger team spotlight but overall in my opinion if you're going to go with something that's going to show enemies or reveal them at a distance these two are the best because there seems to be no really reveal distance percentage as these show you know this shows 60 percent this shows 20 but i can see enemies when i'm ads just as far with this one as i can this one you know it doesn't really seem to affect it that much so you can go with something like this if you want to make up for some hip fire accuracy if you are a person that likes to shoot from the hip a good bit. Uh, when it comes to the underbarrel, I decided to go with the speed grip for this class. Like I said, it is faster because it is a sub. And with this extra sprint moving speed and that horizontal recoil control and those very small percentages of cons there, I feel like this is kind of a hybrid AR with this setup and it is really, really fun to use. Uh, when it comes to the magazine, I'm using the 40 round drum. You could also go with the tape mags. Uh, of course, the grew elastic wrap here for my grip and or the back grip, the handle. And for the stock, I'm going with the skeletal stock. Same as before with the other setup. No stock or wire stock would be really good as well. But this gun, like I said, it's it set up like this. Kind of feels like a hybrid AR. You're still going to get beat by your 7.4Us and your Kriggs at a distance, uh, your M16s, your AUGs. But at the same time, you can beat people in those mid-range gunfights a lot of times that you would not normally beat with a submachine gun. So this is a pretty cool setup to use. If you're wanting something just a little bit different to use, kind of like a hybrid AR, i definitely give this one a try. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you've been running the 7.4U since the MP5 nerf. And, of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. If you are a subscriber, make sure you click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And be sure to check out everything down in the description, GT Racing, the Community Discord, and my Twitter. I'll catch you all next time.